Hey guys, I'm Yalmi. So today I'm going to talk about Hampi, which is a historical site located in the northern Karnataka region. It's a UNESCO certified site, and most of the humanity students or the history students would have known it. It is the Vijayanagar Empire origin place, and also it's very interesting if you go and visit the place. And when I visited there, I was really fascinated about the place, and I've added some of the clips and the photos which I took there. Okay, let's get into the video. Talking about the location, Hampi is basically located in the northern part of Karnataka near Hospet. So I basically traveled by train that was so much fun from Salem to Bangalore, then from Bangalore to Hospet through Hampi Express. Now I'm talking about the history that is especially the rulers. Harihara and Bukka established the kingdom in AD 1336 and they were both brothers. Now talking about the dynasties that ruled Hampi, they were Sangama, Saluwa, Tuluwa, and Aravidu. Talking about architecture, Hampi has a spectacular architecture. There are no cementing used in these buildings and structures, and you can take a lot of amazing pictures during the sunset and the sunrise here. The Virupaksha Temple is an important temple in Hampi and for its people. This was dedicated to Lord Shiva and Pampa Devi is the local goddess. It's built in the 7th century. You can see the temple here. And around the temple you can see a lot of structures which were said to be used for the religious purposes by the local people and then by the rulers. The Royal Enclosure. On those days this were the grandier structures but now these are the ruins. These were the places where the kings and the minister used to debate. How fascinating! The tanks used here were innovative, and they were used a special type of architecture too. You can see a lot of canals around the place, which signifies water facility. Maha Navmi Jibba. It is a large structure in which Dasara festival is celebrated, and it's about 40 feet high. And basically, you can see how small I'm looking there. So Durga Puja is what we call in other places, and this is a nine-day festival celebrated here. When we visit Hampi, Tungabhadra River is an essential one, and the scenery is absolutely amazing. And this river shares the tributary with the Krishna River. Whenever we come here, the scenery is absolutely beautiful, and you can see the river running. So when we get into this kind of cave, where we have to walk a bit, and after that, what we see is nothing but an amazing scenery, and you can take very great pictures here. After walking a bit, you can come across this kind of structure. These were the bazaars. There were other structures such as Ugra Narasimha. This one, this structure got this name because it's said to be that this god is very angry. The Lotus Mahal is another famous structure. Britisher named this structure, and this has undergone a lot of planning. Even I was able to find the minute carvings in these structure. Near to the royal enclosure is the queen's bath. It is said to be that the queens and the kings come here and visit privately, and this architecture found here is Indo-Islamic. The elephant stable. Elephants and horses played an important role in the army, and separate place was built with minute architecture in Hampi. Around the village of Hampi, you can see a lot of stone mountains, and also when we head towards the Vitala Temple, we see a lot of uh, architectures and also some fascinating features. One is the Vitala Temple, and here you can see the music pillars, which reads the notes of Indian music. This indicates the art forms presented in these places, and I also like the place. And this is the stone chariot, another feature. So th this has a lot of myth behind it, and also this was destroyed by the Sultanate. Some facts about this were: it was built by Krishna Devaraya in the 16th century, and it's dedicated to Lord Vishnu. The Tunga Bhadra Dam is also known as Pampa Sagar. is visited by a lot of tourists, and this is also a very good scenery which you can visit. Talking about the sculptures, wherever you go, you can find these in the temple walls or in the ruins. 
and these are very great feature and this also tells the story that's what we call the stone tell the story and this is from the mahanami dibba you can see the cavalry depicted here and also the life of the kings and the queens in the museum you can find so many artifacts and also the miniature of the virupaksha temple and at last ending towards the video when i left it i felt very saddened by the thought that i'm going to leave this beautiful historical place and the scenery and you will also definitely feel that because it has a lot to offer and a very different scenery and that's why you know it was given the unesco certified site and there are so many things that is undiscovered even today about this place that's why history is always fascinating and at least to me it's very colorful so uh, seeing this colorful structure i felt great and i hope you also visit this place one day and get fascinated of a past thank you for your time uh, for watching this and if you like it please consider subscribing